My name is Chris Lin Manangs. I am an entrepreneur, uh, a singer, and the author of the contemporary um, love story, Excited Love Korean Fame. We thought of this great idea to, to bring out our um, Excited Love Korean Fame, which is the story of a, a newly signed music sensation who, or, um, who had to make strong decisions. That is basically uh, the life of an artist who, when signing in there, didn't know what he was uh, going into. But leaving the industry, he discovered that um, fame wasn't just um, a mere uh, term, but he had to leave all the, the facets of, this, of that industry. So basically, we, we felt it was necessary, it was very important to tell this, uh, this story because I myself as an ex artist I, I lived part of it and as a talent manager I also uh, manage careers of artists that face a lot of the same problems. That's why you have a lot of artists nowadays that, that are do-it-yourself artists and they don't want to sign to big corporate deals just because uh, they're afraid of getting uh, that attachment to somebody that when they sign a deal they have to deliver and they have a lot of pressure on them and uh, that's something that artists nowadays are usually afraid of that's why they do the mostly of the work by themselves so it struck me and I asked myself how can I give back, how can I educate, how can I help the people out there who may be facing the same problem not to fall in the same pit. So I started writing this, uh, this, this story that not only talks about the wrong side of the industry but also educate many people who may want to know how to get in there. I think uh, every story someone finds something different that they relate to and that they like. For me, what this story is about personally is, yeah, a choice of love. Whether it's going all in on career or it's going all in on love and really having to make that decision that you can't really go all in on both, depending where you're at in life and especially at the beginning of your journey. It's a lot harder to manage both and you have to sacrifice. So I think a lot of people think they would choose one, but um, yeah, either way, something's going to suffer and something's going to really hurt. In the contemporary story that we just published, we have scenes of our, our Chris Lin, who is our lead character there, uh, as he juggles his way into the music industry. We also have our little stories about how he, he managed to juggle himself while being in the industry, the challenges that he, face, he faces and uh, how uh, the life with his labels look like, how the pressure with the media looks like. And the biggest story behind us is um, the difficulties uh, of holding a relationship with a girl that wasn't um, um, approved by his label. I feel like the stories are never told because our many artists out there are scared of the unknown. So they feel like they don't know what the labels will say, they don't know what the media will say, they don't know what our the fan base will, will how they will react. So the better keep it in themselves. And most of the time, what's the result? The result is they get into drugs because they want to forget, or they get so depressed, they get into depression or uh, they have early deaths, they face early death. So we decided to bring all the stories that will or educate, many, uh, educate many out there not to fall in this or that will help them be equipped as the jungle into this beautiful but difficult industry. I really like the plot because I think that a lot of artists can relate to the dilemma that Chris Lynn was facing uh, choosing between his career, faith, love, and also I think choosing Paris as the location was very meaningful because Paris is the city of love, so it was a symbol for their relationship. The plot of, of this, this story is uh, it's interesting in the way that um, it, brings, it brings together some interesting characters to be able to tell these beautiful stories. So the challenge was our uh, uh, 
was to come out with characters that are very interesting and that could help us tell a beautiful and interesting story. So we had uh, to create a character that uh, is a love interest basically of our lead character Chrislyn who is called Laurie. So the challenge Laurie faces is that um, her friends don't really approve of Crystal because they think that he's like an uh, movie star and they all like just getting all of them girls and she's just one of them and they don't want her to be like uh, abused. Imagine you being in a relationship like and your boyfriend or girlfriend comes to you and says hey I actually have to have this other relationship that's not really real but I have to be in the spotlight with this person just for publicity and to help my career my label is making me do it um, what kind of situation that would put someone in? They don't approve the relationship with him because he's like um, he's in a dilemma and he's choosing her his career over Lori and um, they think I think that they wanted her to be with like a normal guy who can give her more time and and more uh, like attention instead of focusing that much on himself. Nicola was a very fun character to portray because she was kind of playing a double game. She was agreeing and following everything her best friend was telling her. So she agreed with the fact that the relationship between Lori and Chrislyn wasn't really healthy. But then she was playing a double game in the sense that she was also friend with Chrislyn. It's almost like you're living this fake life at almost. So I completely understand both sides of things. Like if Lori wanted to leave, I, I could completely understand that. And I think that's important to show both sides. And Chrislyn, you know, you only get one chance to really go after your dreams. So you can really, I think it's important to see both sides of the story and have compassion for both people. Yeah, so Fabrice is basically the agent of uh, uh, Chrislyn. And uh, he, when Chrislyn has a problem because he want to leave the company, I'll be there to make sure that I got his back when he needs me the most and because of Laurie he wants to be dropped from the label and the label don't want to don't want to release him don't want to let him go from the company because uh, they got a lot of money invested in him and uh, they expect him to deliver and so I'm there as a friend and as a manager to uh, help him out when he needs me the most all these characters basically are um, were brought together to to explore the different angles of the life of a newly signed pop star, his private life, his label life, his media life, and and all that. So we 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 think we covered all those parts. And I think when you look at it, when you watch the the, the movie or you read the book, you you'll be satisfied because all the characters specifically are unique. They are very unique to bring substance to the story and uh, they, they helped us to have a really nice plot. It was important for us to tell the story and spread it all over. So we decided to also get a movie adaptation of this of this our story. Uh, we decided to walk with eight soundtracks of, of this stories and uh, the first soundtrack was already produced and the music video for the first soundtrack was produced and uh, we also decided to do an animation version of the story because we feel that it is important for kids to understand this this the, the, this plot and to 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 get acquainted with what the entertainment industry is all about and later on we we also thought of uh, bringing out our, a TV show because uh, taking this story on TV will also be fun and exciting well feel free to to follow us on social media and also to visit our website www.christiantreasure.com slash excited where you'll get all updates about the project and uh, I also want to let you know that uh, we have our two releases planned for this uh, for this December the release of excited the book 
plus excited the, the the soundtrack the first soundtrack of the eighth collection and the music video of the first and i hope you'll get it uh, the music video in your on your tv very soon so our, um, we are planning to release the movie uh, on summer 2018 uh, together with the animation version and uh, the tv show later that year so i hope you enjoy this and uh, i'll be counting on you to stick with us have a nice day bye bye